What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Evan Ulbricht, I'm a professional sports photographer and today I'm gonna to be talking about how to build a portfolio that gets you hired in sports photography. So right here, I have some notes right here and then I also have my website pulled up. So I'm gonna kinda of just run through my website, show you guys what's important in my portfolio, show what's kind of gotten me these jobs um, with certain clients, and then kind of what people look for in a portfolio. So let's check it out right here. So I have my portfolio up on Squarespace is what I use. If you guys ever want a tutorial on how to build it, I can totally do that, um, super easy, kind of just drag and drop through this editing process. You can manage all your portfolios through here. Um, and then I have one for each kind of specialty that I've shot. Um, I got Surf, which is kind of what I started with. And it's really just about um, showcasing your best work. So obviously right here, um, I got Surf, Sports, Golf, Landscapes, and Adventure. Um, and then all these are just kind of different things that if I'm gonna say, hey, I wanna work for this golf company, I'll just send them my golf portfolio and not send them the, the whole portfolio, just so they can look at the photos that are most important to them um, and that they wanna see that I can take. So yeah, um, for, so let's look at the surf right here. So kind of showcasing your best work. So I've like switched out so many photos in this and then let's see, let's make it a little bit bigger. Um, so I definitely wanna just make sure that it's not too crowded, so I kind of came up with a simple design. Um, then you could also click on it, and it's, I think it's called like a light box around the photos, which is super cool. Um, and really just showcasing your photos in like a simple, clean way in the best like way possible that's easy for people to access as well. So like if I send this to someone, they're gonna know it's a surf portfolio, obviously. It says it right there, has a bunch of surf photos. Um, and then basically just going around um, how I pick these photos is from Lightroom, um, which is obviously where I edit. And I know a lot of other photographers, almost every other photographer uses Lightroom, Photoshop, like basically just Adobe. Um, and just going through Lightroom and making different albums in there and just showcasing, like thinking about what like photo tells this story that I'm trying to tell. Or like what photo stands out, what photo is different. It's like this photo right here that I just pulled up, um, it's just, I feel like that's just such a cool photo that's different. There's a little bit of like a water spot right here which like bugs me, but even just this photo as a whole, like if someone saw this, they're like, wow, that's a cool shot. Or like this shot right here and then, there's just so many, like this is like a perfect like dream barrel shot that I got um, at Black's Beach in San Diego during a nice swell. So just stuff like that, like just finding photos that like maybe are your dream photos that you're like, you just look at it and you're like, wow, like it causes some sort of emotion in you and other people as well. Um, and then also just like doing stuff differently, like photos like this, like the framing is like totally different than being centered. Like I'm sure like this one's, a little bit different as well, but obviously there's some that are like totally centered like that, um, stuff like that, like this is totally centered. We're just having fun with stuff like this, where obviously like, in, even in this photo, I could see his body a little bit and I actually turned it down the color so that it was more of a silhouette, which I thought was cool. And then same with this, um, kind of just a different perspective from behind him. Um, and really just like messing around with these different angles and everything helps so much and can make your photos stand out. And also just looking for different ways to stand out. Um, like this is my golf portfolio. Um, I shot for the Corn Ferry Tour PGA event, uh, the Ascendant TPC Colorado like two weeks ago. Um, and that was super cool and I kind of, this was my first actual golf job that I got. Um, and it was a pretty big job obviously. Um, and just really try to create some different photos that I hadn't seen before. And then also just some photos that were like kind of standard photos for golf photography. Like, Photos like this, um, like some of these were super cool, and then him shooting and then from the back, um, this one, and then I also try to get creative with some shots like this, um, a nice landscape right there, like him walking from behind. So there's just a lot of different ways to experiment with this, and then actually this one, um, I don't even have the light box on, so gotta turn that on. Um, but just one thing is just making your photos stand out um, by having a certain style, and I feel like my style is having like clean with nice colors, um, and kind of, you can see that through all of my photos. Um, these are just the golf photos that I've taken, but through all my sports photos as well, um, just kind of having a unique style to your portfolio makes you stand out as well. Um, like right here, let's see, let me go to my sports. Um, yeah, so like right here, you can definitely see same sort of style, um, clean photos with nice bright colors. 
Um, and yeah, even some of these, like the lighting wasn't that good. So just messing with the lighting, trying to figure out what works best for you um, in certain conditions. And I think this one, I might even use, this is like a little bit of a wide angle lens, but um, in that gym is super dark and like the lighting is horrible. So actually just trying to experiment with some stuff and have fun with it. And like stuff like this, like use my one to 400 lens and track for the first time and just trying to get up nice and tight on him. Um, and just looking to get different angles and like make yourself stand out like this one. I did put the photo of her scoring in there because I feel like you always kind of see those where the celebrating one, uh, great capturing emotion. You got her in the background, the fans. So just having different photos in there, like this one too, I feel like that's a super cool shot. Um, just having a lot of different photos that can differentiate you from other photographers because there are so many photographers that can take photos probably exactly like you. Um, and I know that there are. So also being easy to work with um, and helping showcase that content the easiest way possible um, is super good as well. And I think that the portfolio also um, is what you're posting on social media, Instagram, Facebook, even like Pinterest, stuff like that. Like there's so many social media accounts now that you can have that help you post that stuff. So kind of just depending on what you're using um, can make a big difference. And I think a lot of people even like don't even have a website portfolio anymore, which I think that you definitely should um, for every, like all of your social media accounts should go to your like landing page right here. Um, and then you kind of have, this is what I have. And then showcase my YouTube channel, surf sessions, prints, uh, and then a little newsletter. So just also being able to showcase your work in a nice way. And then in my website, it kind of shows that I have a marketing background, which I do, and then I'm actually in a marketing internship right now, uh, which has kind of helped with all this, but just showcasing all of your talents together and putting that in uh, to showcase that you're more than a photographer. You also have this kind of eye for design. You can do this marketing. You have this strategy. Um, and I guess that shows through also your social medias, uh, through how many accounts, like, accounts you're looking at, um, how many followers you have, views, all that stuff, likes, comments, all the engagement as well. Um, and being able to showcase that in the best way possible is super important as well. Yeah, that's really all I have to talk about for today. But overall, just highlighting your best work, um, choosing the right website and place to have your portfolio is super important. I use Squarespace. Um, not sponsored by them, but I just thought it was a great place to use it. Um, and let me know if you want me to make even a tutorial kind of making another portfolio. I can totally do that as well. That would be fun. Um, and yeah, just showcasing the best photos that you have uh, in a nice clean way to show the client or whoever you're trying to work with that you kind of know how to showcase these photos in the best way possible and that you have this talent to take these photos um, is super important. So yeah, that's all I have for the video today. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button. I know a ton of you guys aren't subscribed that are watching these videos. So I think there's like 20% of all my viewers are subscribed. So make sure to hit the subscribe button. Like and comment down below it really helps me out. Let me know if you want to see a video of me making a portfolio. I uh, would totally be more happy to do that. So yeah, I'm super excited to see how this channel's doing and see you next video.